about activism that's become completely woke now, very, very extreme. It's grabbing attention. And to grab attention, these activists are seen dumping milk in malls, in grocery stores as a sign of protest while demanding a plant-based future. And this isn't the only act of vandalism by the so-called activists. Van Gogh's painting, London's infamous Harrods, among many others, have witnessed a spate of nothing short of attacks of late. I'm leaving you with this report. Thanks for tuning in. We are in Chile, Britain, and we are here because the people that are meant to be protecting us are issuing kill policies. 330,000 British people died because of austerity choices. First, it was the everyday commuter. Then Van Gogh's famous sunflowers painting. Security. And now gallons of milk is the latest victim of UK's extreme activism. Several vegan protesters, part of Animal Rebellion Group, an anti-dairy activist group, poured milk on shop floors across the United Kingdom, demanding a plant-based future. This comes after two women from climate activist group Just Stop Oil grabbed the world's attention by throwing tomato soup at Vincent van Gogh's sunflowers displayed at the National Gallery in London. The act was followed by a passionate appeal to the world. What is worth more, art or life? Is it worth more than food? Worth more than justice? Now the two women, aged 20 and 21, face charges of criminal damage. Security. The group also spray-painted an Aston Martin showroom in London with orange paint. by injunctions that are intended to silence. It all started with Insulate Britain's protest on Wednesday, when they literally glued themselves to the floor to disrupt traffic to Parliament. The group claimed that it was raising the demand to insulate Britain's homes, disrupted by an escalating cost of living crisis. The Office of National Statistics said 8,500 people froze to death in their homes each year because they can't afford to heat their homes. That's only going to get worse as we've got this cost of living crisis. Millions, it would have brought millions out of fuel poverty so they no longer had to choose between heating, eating or providing essentials. While the messaging is noble, the internet is divided over the extreme protests. If some have backed the protest, calling it the need of the hour, Others have called it a disruption of life. Bureau Report, India Today.